What's this? It's a mammoth, woolly mammoth for a jawbone with a bizarre two back molars. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, really nice. Yeah, you don't get very many like that with pyrite. Yeah, what they look for is depressions and underwater. Okay. And then the heavier things they wash out of the banks and then they find them in the holes. And there's a certain layer where all the fossils are, it's like a 32 foot layer, but you have to hit that, know that layer, right? And by looking at the other fossils in the area, you can tell you're in that layer. Very interesting. But it's quite dangerous. From Niger. What does your store specialize in? The jewelry. The jewelry, eh? I noticed you've got some, uh, looks like a blue barrel down the end. This is all from Nigeria or? From Niger? Namibia. Namibia? So we've got a mix of things from Africa. Oh. Do you do you go to Namibia? Yeah, I do. You do, eh? I'm yeah. from South Africa, so. Oh, lacquer. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like Namibia and Morocco are really turning out to be the places for minerals this year. This is what you call a window related to the depth of the cut. How much is this? You'll notice this one barely has a window because it's deeply cut, thus total internal reflection. silos and they used to have regular overflows from the silos so you get the sulfuric acid with the uranic dissolved in it overflowing so as we get into his barn you just look up at the ceiling and it's just entirely dripping with yellow fudge it's all hardened to little stalactites hanging down right to soda straws and I'm not an expert with radiation by any stretch of the imagination but my first thought was I'm out of here and I wish I'd taken a picture because it's a really cool thing to see, like how often you see yellow fudge in stalactites. I've got the story in my book one here about eating Ainsley, right? But anyway, uh, that's just part of the experience, of, you know, as a rock kind of. I'm going to give you just one or two spots here that you might like to go. So that's a pyrite that's been modified by weathering. Now it has a limnite skin, which is the sulfur replaced by hydrogen and oxygen. So that's zincite, eh? Similar to sphalerite, I think. It's very similar. I think it's it just the similar. proportion of, of what, whether it's zinc or whether it's tin in it. This is the most beautiful barite I've ever seen. Oh, really? Thank yeah. you. Is this, is this kunzite? Green. It's green? Yeah, spod. Spodumene. Is there a different name for this? Is there a different name for this, no, or is it still no, called kunzonite? Or hiddenite? Hiddenite. The group of family is podimum. Okay. Where do you find this stuff? This is from Afghanistan. Oh, good. Thank you. So you have a, a spot obviously down in Herkimer. Yes. Uh, what's the best time to visit? Uh, I like to mine in September and October. It's cooler and there's less bugs. Here we have Herkimer crystals in matrix. These were formed 500 million years ago uh, through heat and pressure. They're beautiful. Uh, it's a bit like the Lockport dollar stone down in Hamilton then, right? It is, yes. Except there's fluoride in the Lockport dollar stone. And these crystals are locked in these uh -huh. rocks. 
They're doubly terminated with 18 facets. An incredibly brilliant. Another interesting thing out there is Aqua Aura. Uh, is anybody familiar with that name? Okay. Yeah, it's on the market. It's a surface coated quartz. They, it's actually gold that's been evaporated onto the surface. So a super, super thin layer of gold that gives rise to that. And they also have a tangerine version of that. Okay. Pikes Peak, you say? Yeah. Is that the best place? I, I that noticed. is a classic locality for it, yeah. There's a few other areas. Uh -huh. um, New Hampshire had some paler ones okay. back in the 70s. And there's some very pale stuff that comes from uh, Ethiopia as well. Yeah, thank you very much. No okay, thank you. Ladies' fashion and that kind of thing around. So depending upon the crystal system, you'll see either a four or a six rate star. This being rose quartz, it's a hexagonal crystal, therefore it will have a six rays star. And obviously a star only appears when it's cut cabochon. And you were explaining why there's a difference, why there's a star there and not a star there. What was the reason for that? Cut to orientation. The orientation. orientation. Okay. Who else wants to do a howl? Come on, man. You must like a rock howl. Howl, like a rock howl. Like, oh. oh but, but okay. even more like exciting and more sort of... Probably. Okay. <laughs> okay. Give me the loudest rock hound howl you can give me. Rock hound. What have you done to him? You haven't oh fed him for weeks. Give me a rock hound howl. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at that. Who did that? Who did that other one? Is that you? You're, you're excluded. You've been a troublemaker all along. Who else did a rock hound howl? I do like that. Is that you? Well, I, I got his one. I'm afraid he gets the t-shirt, but well done though. That was a well done. Guys, if you can buy these Rockhound t-shirts from my site, you go on to www.rockhoundbook.com. Thank you very much. Well done. What is that rock there? Looks like a slab of meat. It's a this year? Yeah. That's a uh, petrified piece of uh, Ericaria tree from oh, Madagascar. From Madagascar. Jurassic age, around 150 million years old. Fantastic. Natural colors with iron oxides. These are the old carbide lamps used by the miners. The albite, just like the labradorite, is found in the same area near the there. Okay. Is this, are you talking Crystal Lake here? Um, For this? Maybe near Peterborough. Yeah, yeah, it's Island? just, uh, it's near uh, Noggy's Creek. Noggy's Creek runs up oh, next to the mine. Good. yeah. Yeah. What did you say, Rock? How did you do that? Roxanne, uh, Roxanne. There we are. Um, I met her, in a, actually I didn't meet her, but I met her brother and his son, son. on the side of the road, and yeah. I didn't even realize, and then she turns up at the talk. So, yeah. great, thanks for coming, Roxanne. Well, thank you for your conference. It was really interesting. Problem. Not a problem. Thank you. <laughs> good. Thank you, Roxanne. Awesome. Thank you.